Hey everyone, it's Janice from sunny Southern California. And today I just thought I would ramble again just to let you know what's been going on. You know, I don't know what the heck is happening. I don't know if I'm attracting all these weird situations or negativity, but I got food poisoning over the 4th of July weekend. So while most people had a great, great, great 4th of July, my friend and I ended up with food poisoning. And it is now, okay, so we got sick on Saturday, July the 6th, and today is Wednesday, July the 10th. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Five days and I'm finally starting to feel better because we were um, vomiting and other things and I just did not feel good at all. And then to top it off, so I don't know, we have a neighbor who is mentally unstable and either somebody called the cops on her or she called the cops because she was out in the middle of the night when I was trying to go to bed and she was just screaming profanities and then I had finally fallen asleep after not feeling good from having food poisoning and then the cops came down our street and there were like three to five cop cars with their lights all flashing and everything and I was like oh, this is great I finally fell asleep after throwing up and having other problems and then the cops show up so I have been very nervous, very depressed, very sad, very weepy, and today I went to um, my grief counselor. My dad's service, memorial, um, celebration of life, whatever you want to call it, is this Saturday on July 12th, and I just want to be able to go to the service and then to be able to move on but um i've been having other problems like i said that one of my coworkers died and so this month i'm seeing the grief counselor three times so i saw her today july the 10th and then i'm gonna see her again on the 24th and the 31st oh and also i forgot to tell you all we had earthquakes what a what a not fun July 4th weekend. We had two earthquakes and um, earthquakes don't bother me that much because I grew up with earthquakes. But the thing that's really bothering me is not feeling good already mentally because I've been depressed and like sad and then um, physically then add not feeling good physically to the mix and okay this lipstick is bothering me I'll be right back <laughs> I was making like some weird pooly thing on my mouth but um yeah I wasn't feeling good my stomach finally settled down and I was having a diet of saltines and ginger ale and chicken soup and today is the first day that I had um, solid food like I had, oh yeah, I had baby food when I was sick too. My friend got us organic baby food. It was in a pouch. It was like bananas with blueberries. And yesterday I had a all natural baby food mango because it was soft. But um, today one of my coworkers bought me some rice, brown rice with salmon. And that seemed to be good. Like I didn't throw that up. And I really appreciate her buying that for me. Um... Yeah, so, okay, I'm just rambling. I do want to show you what I made, but I left my glasses in the other room, so I'll just show you this. So, I keep losing these things. This is an eyeglass cord that I got for 99 cents, and it has this on it to hold your glasses. So, this part right there holds your glasses. But what happens is I either can't see it because it's black, it's not black now because I crocheted yarn around it. And so, funnily enough, or funnily is not a word, but um, magically enough, this yarn matched my outfit today. So, if I had my glasses to show you, this is how it looks. 
you put this on your glasses these little things so you don't lose your glasses um what was my point I guess my point was I'm just really sad and just sad for a number of reasons physically not feeling well and I just wanted to say hi let y'all know that I'm still here um I've been watching other people's videos and I do intend to go to the Dollar Tree to go look for some school supplies because when my mom, or right before school, my mom and my grandma, they used to take me school supply shopping. And so I have really fond memories of going to the store and picking out a lunchbox and picking out a notebook, or they call them three ring binders now, and then having a pencil case and getting new pencils and new pens and new erasers and sometimes they were fragrant erasers that smelled really good they smelled like candy and they were like hello kitty so my love of hello kitty has not subsided um i just wanted to say hi i think i need five more subscribers and then i will hit 500 but basically i just wanted to let you all know how i've been feeling what's been up man it is not fun um, having food poisoning because you know it just takes a lot out of you it takes like everything that was in your system wants to come out and then you have to have Gatorade or you have to have Pedialyte or you have to have baby food and crackers so I just wanted to say hi and I'll make another video uh, giving you an update of how my dad's um, memorial service went Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Everybody have a great day. And thank you for continuing to watch me. Um, my, the next videos I'll make, hopefully they'll be happier and cheerier and I'll be my old self. But I wanted to thank you all for sticking by me. Okay, sending you lots of love. Thanks. Bye. Love ya. See ya. Bye.